Look at this guy. He's flying. This guy is flying in his little cartwheel kick thing. I think it's funny when the guys get stuck like this. Their leg is over their hands, so they gotta start hopping around like this. Look, look at this guy. I'm gonna see. I wonder if he's gonna get speared. He's like, <laughs> did you see that? Look at how he's, he's like kicking. His his foot is a lightsaber, guys. He's got a lightsaber foot. All right, everybody, welcome to Tabs and Happy Sunday. So today, right now, this first battle comes in from Matthew Schwebs. Or is it the Schwebes? Schwebes. Matthew Schwebes. This is Halo Wars 2, the battle for the Ark. Blue is the United Nations Space Command. Spirit of Fire, the crew. We've got three Trumps as Red Team Alice, Douglas, and Jerome, who I'd imagine are Spartans. We got 75 Laze Pistols as Marines, four Electricity Backpack Guys as the Hellbringers, 25 Muskets as Snipers, four Giant Bearmen as Cyclops, the Mechanized. Um, we've got two Chariots over here as Warthogs. We've got two Cannons as the Scorpion Tanks, eight Thieves as Jackrabbits, the Scouting Vehicles, and then 15 Archers as Hornets. Now, the two who watches are the Wolverines, and I put them both on hills because I thought that would be kind of cool. Now, we have a ton of units, so let's go ahead and start this and watch the frames just drop. Oh, my God. I don't know what happened. Oh, the, yeah, that was the chariots. The chariots just hit stuff, and things just went flying in the air. So the red is the banished. The, the three giant bearmen are the brute warlords. We've got 75 laser pistols as grunts. Oh, my God. Look at that. Just look at all the laser fire. We got gravity backpacks going off this. Hey, man, just another epic large battle. This one, Halo Wars 2 theme. Look at this. Okay, so there's a Samurai Master up here, and he is an elite honor guard. And he just blitzed right through this area and is chopping down all of the UNSC forces that he is finding. His forces, the Vikings. Now, the Vikings. Oh, the Vikings are the jetpack brutes. So, 25 muskets are grunts. There are 75 laser pistols as grunts. The 25 muskets are the grunts, or, you know, with the brute squad leaders. I guess I should have divvied them up a little bit different, formed them up a bit. We got 20 muskets as elites with carbine, carbines. A barrel roller as one of those suicide grunt squads. 25 vikings as the jetpack groots. We, I am Groot. <laughs> Look at that. Four chariots, one ghost, and then three brute choppers. Two cannons as wraiths, two watches as reavers. Look at this. This battle's still going on. This guy's got arrows sticking out both sides of his head. It's one of the UNSC mechs. Let's see how he does. He should be able to kill everybody up here. Oh, I think he died. He He's either dying or he's just not, like, climbing very well. All right, let's speed this up. Look at that. Oh, truck. What? That guy disappeared. Is that him? Is that the same guy? Oh, my God. There's bodies in this hidden area. So, I think, I wonder... Oh, man, the Trumps, the, uh, actually, there should be enough. Oh, yeah, Blue's gonna win this one. Blue's gonna take this giant Halo battle, our first battle of the day, and we've got quite a few more to the bank. Look at this. UNSC forces are closing in. So we're gonna get rid of the chariots. Oh, dude, this is the uh, elite honor guard. Just got wrecked. Just got absolutely wrecked. Okay, so, but... No, take the chariots out if it ruins the battle. So this one got 261 votes at the time that I looked at it. That is a lot of votes, guys. I'm curious to see, like, after the course of, like, it'd be cool to see each week what was the most voted for suggestion. Maybe we could start making, like, a reward or, you know, some kind of, some kind of thing about that. I think it'd be interesting. All right, so the chariots are going to be out, and I want to see this Hawacha that's over on this hill. See how it does. So we're gonna we're gonna try to speed up, but the frames are like below five. When we slow motion, what? You see that? That guy's blaster just okay. So the 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 watches just started firing. It's going through that blue crystal, but it's not looking like it's gonna hit much. Yeah, by the time it aimed to fire, look at that. It might hit some of these musket men. What's going on? None of them are being affected at all. But look at this. We've got like two U, uh, UNSC Marines over here. They get they get taken out relatively quick. And then it seems that the Banished... Now, is the Banished... Yeah, the Banished are in Halo Wars 2, right? Now, what are the Banished? See, I haven't really played Halo since like Halo The Fall of Reach. Halo 1 and Halo 3 were my favorite. I really liked Halo Fall of Reach as well. But after that, I didn't really play too many Halos. Like, you know, it's like... I think Halo 1 
was one of those games that I was just like obsessed about. I remember reading about the lore like before anyone knew what the Covenant were or who the Forerunner were. Man, that was fun stuff. Look at this. You cannot stop these Spartans. Look at that, man. One giant, what is that? Okay, that was an arrow. It looked like, it looked longer from this point of view. It's almost like he's got like another barrel on his gun. Oh, dude, an arrow right to the arm. But he's still gunning him down, man. All right, now, and then it's just like, this is where, let's see if, oh, I was gonna see if the, oh, can the cannon hit the Trump? Will this Spartan survive a direct cannon shot? Oh, he dodged it. He dodged it and then he killed the can cannon. We got a few left. Man, I feel like I need some water. Actually, Red's doing better this time. Red has a chance. I think it just comes down to the fact that these... Oh, man. That Trump got real hurt. Spartan. Spartans are moving in. They're calling a, like, orbital drop, like, bombardment here with these walls. Dude, just took out everybody. Yeah, and now you've got the <laughs> elite honor guard who's stuck in a ballista. Look at this. Dude, if you do not get out of there right now... You are going to die. I repeat, you're going to die. Hurry. Oh, whoa. What's he doing? He's like flying back there. Oh, this isn't good. We're going to speed it up. This is what happens, man. Oh, death. Death. He fell on his sword. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Schwebes, Schwebes, Halo Wars 2, the battle for the Ark. Now, was Halo Wars 2 good? Should I check it out? What do you guys think? What games have you been playing this weekend, guys? And... What suggestions for the next tabs custom battle should we do next? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get into our next battle. All right, guys, this expansive battle that is crossing this entire map and there are different formations and different battles happening at the same time. This is the Battle of Yorktown by Guy Guy and this had 106 votes. This is the final battle of the revolution that took place in 1781. We're on the map Scotland. Blue is America and France, and red are the English and the Hessians, aka German mercenaries. So, let's go over the forces. And now, blue has their bayonet charge in their front line of 20 muskets in the front, and then they have 40 muskets in the rear. They've got two chariots positioned there. They've got four cannons and one box gun. The box gun representing George Washington. We also have and a beam rifle representing Alexander Hamilton and an energy sword master over here leading the French as Lafayette. We also have 10 musketmen over here, which are the French musketmen and 10 French soldiers who are knights as French, French knights, French swordsmen. And then the red are the British. They have 70 muskets as the British soldiers. We've got 10 on the front here as the Hessian mercenaries. They're putting their mercenaries on the front line, hmm? Now we've got 20 knights here as British knights, followed up by the peasants who are British gentlemen, hmm? Or maybe you could call them, what would you call them? Loyalists, right? They, they got, we got this knight's bayonet charge over here. We got the British cavalry going against this bayonet charge. It's densely packed. I'm excited to see what happens. This is one of those battles that we probably got to run two, three times to kind of take, wow. We got helicoptering chariots over here. Was it because it hit the stone? Oh my god, this thing is gonna crush this guy! Oh, dude, that guy had a- Oh, this whole line of bayonet spearmen. Look at these! These British knights are just wrecking. There's George Washington with his first box gun hit. Look at that! A- a- a British gentleman is in the air and the invisible boxers killing everybody. Here is the British field general represented by the Samurai Master. Oh man, Alexander Hamilton hit somebody in the body. The body knocked out one of the muskmen. I love when that happens, when the physical body of a dead guy flies through the air and kills someone. Oh yeah. So what was interesting is at this point in the revolution, I'm not sure, did the, uh, the, the colonists, the colonists, did the American uh, revolutionaries, did they have more artillery than the British did at this point? Oh my God, this is a rout. This is a rout. Oh, that beam rifle gets the final kill. Oh my god, hold on. Okay, so now we're going to try to see what happens with the French. Oh my god. The British... Was there only one of them? There's supposed to be two, right? Did one fall off the map? Oh my god. One of the musket, or two of the musketmen just took a tumble. Here come the French knights though. So let's see who wins this battle. Oh man. Oh, they're getting shot from the sides over there. 
Come on. Oh, dude, I think these guys... Let's see. All right, we're going to speed it up. Slow it down right as they begin to fire. Oh, they didn't hit near enough. They hit Lafayette and one of the other knights who actually, like, slid backwards but got right back up. Oh, man. This French charge was very brave, and it achieved its goal of dominating the British. Look at this cannon. Will it be able to knock anybody off the map? If it hits somebody from this point, you could have it knock people off the map. Come on. Fire. You may fire when ready. You may fire now. Please, please fire now. Oh, no. It hit the... Dude, it, that... These knights, I think, have a decent amount. Look at that. Oh, I think that body flew forward. Look at that. There are bodies. There are musk... <laughs> what? <laughs> that guy's musket is flying that way. I have no idea what's happening. All I know is these Siamese twins here. These brothers in arms. Let's see. We're going to see what it's like from their point of view. Can... Let's just be honest. I cannot... Oh! Shot in the back of the head. Fire! He took out two of them with one musket ball. But we still have two chargers, including Lafayette. And the rebels are moving in. Soon to be the United States. Oh, they look, they look at this. They're going to win the Battle of Yorktown, as Guy Guy probably intended, I would imagine. Because, you know, you want to... Oh, that guy was so brave. And he took one. And he just got spilled over there. Oh, this musket guy behind me just got wrecked. And now it's just this guy. The beam rifle. The British beam rifle was the British commander. The last unit on the field is the British commander. He's going to have to write to the king. We have lost, sir. Our tactics could not keep up with the fervor of the desire to be an independent nation. Oh, we got shot in the shoulder. That was pretty cool. Dude, that musket ball came out of like nowhere. Moving on to the next battle. Actually, wait. I want to see this part of it. I, d I don't think we watched that. Okay, let's see it. All right. Uh, hurry up, hurry up. Let's see how the chariots do. It looks like that... Oh, this chariot's making a run. He's making a run for the gap. He's going to take it. So is the other one, but then he got wrecked. Oh, dude, in this bayonet charge... Actually, I don't know. I think this bayonet charge will get cut down. Let's see. We're going to speed it up a little bit. They're about to fire. Oh, they took out three... Mm, it looked like they took out only three of the charging spearmen. Charge! Oh, they broke through. It's over. Musket men, once their line has been broken, it's very difficult for them to survive. Especially spearmen are pretty, pretty apt. Oh, no. That poor man is going into space. Oh, look at this guy. He's still alive. Oh! Got beam rifled. All right, so what happens here? Dang, that cannon took out a lot of people. We've got this bunch up of... A <laughs> oh, this isn't good at all. Oh, is the cannon dead? The cannon is dead. I still think... They should still win the revolution here. Yeah, because there's just a few guys over there. Oh! We missed it. We're going to find him. Lafayette is now flying through space. Lafayette! Where did you go? Did you not fall through? I saw him get hit. Is there a... Oh my god, Lafayette flew off and we didn't see... We didn't even see him die. Okay, on to the next one. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this suggestion comes in from Isaac G. And this one is awesome. When I started setting it up and thinking about the units and what they represent, I was like, this is pretty creative. And it makes me want Steam Workshop so badly because you could put in a Zergling. You could make a Protoss Elliot. You could make a Terran Marine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the map Japan, and it is the Zerg versus the Protoss. Now, on the Zerg, we've got headbutters as Zerglings, barrel rollers as Banelings, archers as Hydralis, bearmen as A-bombs, two chicken men as queens, spear throwers as roaches, and seven musketmen as infected marines. Nice little touch there with the infected marines. And then the Protoss. The Protoss, I don't know. It seems like they're definitely outnumbering, or definitely, like, Protoss are, you know, better units, one for one than Zergar, and it seems like there's a lot of them. Anyway, but energy swords as zealots, laser pistols as stalkers, 12 Teslas as high Templars, pa placing groups of fours. I did like that. Um, 
We've got four energy sword masters as dark templars, 12 shieldmen as immortals, four projectile shields as archons, three beamers on the high ground as tempests, six box guns as a colossus, four cannons as dragoons. That's a lot of stuff. I think this is going to be an absolute rout, but let's see. It all depends on the velociraptors, I mean zergling headbutters here. So I wanted the barrel rollers to go in these trenches. Which actually is probably going to be a trap for the Zergs. Dude, look at this. But yeah, so the Protoss Zealots here with the lightsabers are just... Oh my god, the box guns are just wreaking havoc. I guess the positioning of the box guns, since Japan is such a small and jammed up map. Oh man. I wonder if we put the Protoss over there, how that'd play out. Are these guys a double spawn? Or are they just stuck on each other? I don't think they were... I don't think... Oh! The Roach Spear Throwers. Look at this. Oh, God. That guy's got it, like, sticking out of his, like, stomach slash kidney, man. That's got to hurt. Oh, dude. The Tesla Claws are going to wreck everything. I'll, I'd be surprised if this wasn't a blue victory. But I guess the Box Guns could kill a lot of blue stuff. No. Yeah, it just... I don't know. Well, a lot of the Box Guns did die. But, I mean, they got Beam Rifles. They got all... Wow! The Invisible... Or the Neon Boxer, like, escaped his ring and knocked out one of the Beam Rifle guys. All right, it was a blue victory, but just marginally so. Okay, so I'm thinking, how do we do this, right? I'm going to put all four. All four of the... What were these? Let's put one, two. Now, the Bearmen were... What were the Bearmen again? The Bearmen were abominations okay oh no that box gun hit this guy in the head this is gonna be a devastating box gun round right here it could kill so much look at this dude it's kind of ridiculous plus tesla is coming in oh my gosh like it, it's hard to look at this guy he's flying this guy is flying in his little cartwheel kick thing i think it's funny when the guys get stuck like this their leg is over their hands so they gotta start hopping around like this look look at this guy I'm gonna see. I wonder if he's gonna get speared. He's like, <laughs> did you see that? Look at how he's, he's like kicking. His his foot is a lightsaber, guys. He's got a lightsaber foot. He may have lost his leg in battle a long time ago, but instead of getting like a peg leg, he got a lightsaber foot. Come on, dude, charge, dude, get him. Oh, all right. Well, he died in battle. Poor guy. Oh yeah, and the chicken men were queens. I love that because it's like. They're letting all the little Zergs out. And they're killing a lot of guys right here. Dude, look at this chicken headshot. Dude, someone needs to hit this guy. Oh, no, that's not good. He's riddled with arrows. And he's getting hit by a decent amount of chickens. A lot of these guys are missing their shots. And as a result, they are going to pay the ultimate price. This chicken man is about to go down by a Dark Templar. He's getting lots of chickens to his face. The Queen has been assassinated by a Dark Templar. Dark Templar, if you don't remember, were a faction of the Protoss race that were known for, like, hiding in the shadows and being assassins. So, our first StarCraft Zerg versus Protoss, it looks like Protoss handily won it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for it today. Let me know which battles you'd like to see in the next one. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday, and I'll see you guys in the next video.